Alright guys, welcome back to the Granite Glades, and uh, in today's episode, I'm going to do, well, what I said last episode is, to this episode, I want to create a public works campus, so as you can see, right now, currently, all of our, like, public services are over here, in this really weird spot that doesn't, that they don't really fit in, and they're kinda, you know, not really working here at all. So, what, what I want to do is I want to get on the other side of this, uh, this arterial, I want to get a public works campus in. So that's what we're going to do this episode, and, uh, so what we're going to do to start off with is I'm going to just start with a collector that runs down here. So let's come down by 40, and then here, I'll come over here, let, I'll come over here by 140, what? Okay, 140. It's probably unnecessary to go this far, but, you know, uh, fight me. No, don't actually fight me, but, you know, who cares? Okay, so, let's see. 85 degrees, it's pretty darn close to 90. And then, let's, let's smoothen the slope out. So, if we go like this. We have to slope it, and in my sandboxing, what I found was, um, this act, for this, you actually have to, um, get rid of the traffic light. You have to pause the game, get rid of the traffic light, and then put the traffic light back, because it, like, this road kind of breaks it. So, let's get the traffic light down there, and then let's bring our brush size up. And let's smooth this out. So there we go. And then let's come over here and see if the traffic light did the same thing. So... Wait, is there a traffic light here at all? No, it's a normal traffic light. Okay, so I'm going to get a time traffic light there. And there we go. So now what I want to do is let's move this waste processing complex... Let's move it over here, and then let's build an industrial road. Let's get it over here. Hold on, let me adjust my mic. There we go. So let's build an industrial road over here. Uh, okay, let's get it straight. 19 down by 19, so it's a perfect square. And then let's get the water lines in here. So bring it from here. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's Greenaway Street. <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm def I am taking a screenshot of that. If you guys don't know, there's a guy on YouTube called City Planner Plays City Builders. I mentioned him before in some of my videos, but basically, he has a series called Verde Beach, and like his most famous street is Greenaway Street, and he like names his own street. So look, look, I got here. Hold on. Let, let me take a screenshot of this real quick and send it to him. This is hilarious. Okay, there we go. So I got I got my screenshot. I'm sorry. That was just hilarious. Okay, and now let's get in let's get in some sewage treatment plants. So for now I'm going to get this right here and let's see what it takes to build two of these or how long it's how long the road has to be. Um here, let's get our snapping back on. Uh I'm guessing it's going to be yeah, 22. Okay. So then let's move these to up here. And can we get other ones on the other side? No. But what I can do is get one here, one here, and one here, and then use the move it tool to move this to the center. And then we will then get our water lines. And there we go, there are our extra sewage treatment plants, so we now have a sewage draining capacity of 820,000 uh, cubic meters or liters per 10 minutes. That is until we get rid of those two. So how much do we have now? 560,000, okay that's not too bad. Uh, now let now we need to move over our power plant. So before we do that, I'm going to pause the game so that we don't lose power to our entire city. And then, um, here, let's bring this over here. And then let's get this over here. Yes, okay, so 
we gotta get it like that. And from my sandboxing, I found I wanna put this here. And I want to get in... I wanna get in a bus depot, like right there, but for now... I have to get in a police station right there. Okay, so now let's get in some power lines. Um, also, the day I'm recording this, it is a it is Thursday, so this today is the day that the whole like GameStop thing went down. I'm not gonna comment on that. I I really have nothing to say, but. All I can say is if you did lose money, I am sincerely sorry for you. Like, it it's never fun to lose money. Like, yeah, no. I, I just said something, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to cut that out because that got a little bit political. And we are not political here on YouTube. So, essentially, um, yeah, if you did lose money because of the GameStop thing, I'm sorry. Um, I can't do anything for you, really, but... Um, I am sorry that that happened. So, now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this place in the future. So, I know I'm probably gonna have another one of these waste processing complexes, which means I need to come over here, well, hold on, that's 19 and 19, which means I need to come out here by 18 and 19, and I believe that should fit. So if I go there, yes, that will fit there. So. I can get something in here, and then I'm gonna need some more, you know what, no, you know what, for now, let's just get the bus depot in immediately, just so we have it there, and we don't need to worry about it, so after that, I'm probably going to place in a tram depot here, so the tram depot is about that big, what, 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 what okay, so, oh, we can actually get the tram depot in. Okay, so, train ship, plane, do I need, get any plane things over here? Uh, I'm probably going to get the blimp and helicopter depots over here at some point, as well as post office things. So, I think I will put my blimp depot there, and my helicopter depot... I'll put it, I'll put it here in between these two. There we go. Okay, so there's our blimp and helicopter depots. Uh, taxi depots, I don't think I'm ever going to get, like, ever. Uh, sightseeing buses, maybe, but definitely not here. And then post service. So, let's see. Um, here, let's bring, let's just bring this road all the way out. And let's see how this thing looks. Okay, so it looks all right. If I go here, can I get two of these? I think I can. I cannot. Okay, so that is that is definitely good to know. So I think I'm going to, for that reason, go like that. And then I'm going to go like this. So that these guys all have the most access possible. And just so they're not all loading onto the same road, I think I'm going to go like this, and then I might do some detailing. So, uh, let's rectify that. Before this land gets too valuable, let's add a post office in there. Oh, I just realized I don't have any post offices. Okay, so let's get two post offices, one for the lower Forsyth Hills, and one for Molly Square and Sterling Heights. I still haven't come up with a name uh, for Lynch Heights and Sterling Heights yet, but as you can see, it's kind of weird that these are named Heights, because they have high-rise bands on them. That's because I have high-rise bands on the entire city, because eventually I'm going to want to upzone these, and how a city actually works, again, I learned this from Phil, is, um, you don't immediately start building giant skyscrapers uh, if you're building a new city. They're going to develop slowly from low rises into mid rises and then into high rises. You're not just going to see skyscrapers pop up out of nowhere. So now what we want to do is um, I'll probably do some detailing here in between episodes, but some other things I am going to have to eventually worry about are power, I am eventually going to need 
much more power and I think I'm going to eventually get a nuclear power plant here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the game in pause mode and then I'm going to build out like a nuclear power plant build. So it, I'm going to have the nuclear power plant turned off for now because I can't really afford it at the moment, if I'm being honest, this city cannot afford to run a nuclear power plant. It's $10,000 a week, and this city at the moment just does not have that amount of money. So, here, we'll move this over here. I'm actually going to move the helicopter depot um, over there, and then I'll move the tram depot as well. So, let's move this, excuse me, over to there. And, hold on, can I actually get it here? No, no I can't. Okay, so let's, let's get in the power lines. Now, nuclear power plants typically have parking for at least, for at least double or even triple their um, their lot size. So, what I'm gonna do, hold on, let me think about how I want to build this, because <laughs> this is the one thing I did not sandbox about this area. I think I figured out how I want to do this. So, we'll bring this all the way down, and then I'm going to get this in right here. Well, hold on. I'm gonna get this in right here, and then I'm going to get another another road up that way and I'm gonna get another one there so it looks like the four I guess smokestacks if you would call them that are sitting right there like that and then I'm going to immediately before I forget turn these off as you can see they're 10 grand every 10 minutes that would be $20,000 which we absolutely cannot afford so here let's put roads around the power plants and then boom we'll go like that and then over here i think i'm going to create the parking lots for these giant power plants here so this is eventually going to provide us with 1200 megawatts of power but that is not right now so we have to get in a drive so let's come out here by 10, no, let, let's come out here by 5, and then border, let's go down here, so, yeah, we'll, we'll come out down to here, double the lot size, yeah, okay, I'm gonna come all the way down to here, and over to there, okay, so we have to do that, and then how this mod works is you then have to get these fillers leaving a one square gap in between. You have to leave a one square gap in between each row. Alright, so there we go. So now we have our um, drives. So we have our drive-in roads. We have our... Here, we'll get something in there. We'll get something in here um and then we'll probably get some other stuff in as well but um here let's do this let's get in our 5x parking and you have to have the anarchy mod in order for this to work and then you just have to go like this All right, we'll go like that, and then we have to get in our handicap parking. So, all right, so that is our parking lot for these two nuclear power plants. I also have to get the water lines in because water lines are probably the most important thing for a nuclear power plant. Um, then, what I'm going to do is make a sort of, I guess, storage spot for the uranium. Uh, here, 
let's put this here and we'll make this commercial zones goods. We will make that commercial zones goods and we will set it to empty. Actually, no, we'll set it to balanced. So that this is actually functional. It's not just sitting there and looking pretty. But at the same time, it is going to look like it's part of this. And then in addition to that, I also do really like the look of these raw mineral storages. So I think I'm going to get one in. Or two. <laughs> okay, so storage mode is going to be... Uh, we're going to put these on em empty. So it does so that it doesn't import anything. We don't want these to import anything. So now we have our parking lot. We have our power plants for the future. And now we need to start thinking about when it gets to be winter time and we need to start about like heating and we need to start about start thinking about um snow removal like snow dumps so let's see this area doesn't have great access to the highway and it will never have great access to the highway so i think over here i'm simply going to get just geothermal heating plants and that's just gonna be it now we need snow removal so if we go over here then we're going to need snow removal. Here, the snow dump. Now, that is where our next um, waste processing complex is gonna go. So, I'm trying to decide, do I wanna put the snow dumps here? So I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one snow dump here. And then I'm going to put a road maintenance depot over here. And then, I'm not going to put these directly on the collector. That's just a bad idea. So here, we'll put one there. And then, yeah, that allows me to drop down another snow dump. Right there. And actually get rid of these power lines. And instead, put the power lines here. So that is now our public works campus so it's not a very good solution as far as power goes simply because these power plants are going to be very expensive to run now what i actually want to do next episode is not uh get another industry in to make more money what i want to do next episode is actually get in some public transport and some bike networks because last episode i said that i wanted to do that and i do want to get that done so what let us just place another water line there for redundancy's sake and there we go so this is our current public works campus so it doesn't look too terribly good however however if i pu put concrete in this place then it might look just a little bit better or a little bit more authentic probably not but you know let's try it we'll see how it goes all right so this looks a little weird right now but if you can excuse that I'd say this public works campus looks pretty darn good. I'm, a, I'm also going to turn off these snow dumps, these geothermal heating plants because, well, let's face it, we don't need them. I'm going to turn off the blimp depot. I'm going to turn off the tram depot. I'm going to turn off the helicopter depot. Anything that we're not using, I'm just going to turn it off. So actually, for now, I'm going to turn off these storages uh, as well as this large warehouse because we don't really need it at the moment so this is our current public works campus i honestly really like the look of it you know if you can ignore the fact that it's ugly 
because I built it. You know, it actually looks pretty darn good. So, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I know it was a bit of a shorter one. I don't really, I'm kind of on a time constraint at the, at this current moment in time. Oh, wait. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Again, I know it was a bit of a shorter one, but, uh, I think this honestly looks really good. So, uh, I am just going to actually proactively get in our second waste processing complex however i'm going to turn it off because we can't afford it yet so there we go i hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did be sure to smash the like button down below consider subscribing for more content like this and without further ado i will move this to the other side of the road because that's how it's supposed to be and without further ado i will see you dudes next time